the killing of a 19-year-old Milwaukee woman. Prosecutors have charged Maxwell Anderson with homicide, mutilation, and arson in the death of 19-year-old Shade Robinson. She was last seen on a date with Anderson April 1st. On April 2nd, someone found a severed leg in Cut Hayes Warnemont Park. Prosecutors say DNA evidence shows that it is Robinson's. Remains found in other areas have not yet officially been linked to Robinson. As 12 News' Emily Polfall reports, Robinson's family and friends are looking for more volunteers in the search. Now we're going to try to look up the bluff and down on the ground. Y'all know what y'all looking for? Yes. Okay. I just want to warn you. Grit and determination through grief. Another day of searching for Sade Robinson's remains and searching for closure for her family. I think everybody's just overwhelmed. Tracking through water and mud, Robinson's cousin sits in Warnemont Park after searching all day, too exhausted to go on camera. It's just tiring because we, we're not getting anywhere, but the, our family needs peace and we need closure, so I, I don't, I don't want to stop. A group of about 20, they're searching places mentioned in the criminal complaint of Robinson's suspected killer, Maxwell Anderson. Accused of scattering her body parts across Milwaukee County. The search party spent most of Saturday looking here in Warnemont Park. People we spoke to say they came out to help search to try to bring peace to Robinson's family. It was really hard terrain and it kind of be, have to be a madman to do it, but... This is Robinson's friend, Josh. Like, I felt compelled to do that. I owed that to her. The pair met at Pizza Shuttle, where Robinson worked. She was gorgeous, and her smile could, like, brighten anyone's day, and she just had that personality where she could cheer you up. The group is still learning how to organize a widespread search party, and they're doing it with little help. I've never been part of a search or anything like this before. People want to get on the water because, obviously, he... She might be in the water and we don't have the resources. In Warnemont Park, Emily Pofal, WISN 12 News. Sheriff's Office telling 12 News tonight, all known locations have been searched multiple times, also saying the search is ongoing as they continue to identify possible new locations through investigation. And the man charged with killing Robinson is on your screen, Maxwell Anderson. He's in jail tonight on a $5 million bond. He is expected back in court later this month. Okay, guys, if y'all stay to it to the end, I hope y'all enjoy it. And I want to put out more content for y'all because y'all been rocking with me. I appreciate it so, so much, y'all. And some of my, some of my um, subscribers, they was asking me for my cash app. But I'm going to put the cash app up here and y'all can donate. You know, so I can keep making good content. So I need to start making better content. So, thank you so much that you watched the whole video and enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, y'all. Peace. I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe.